It's good to have you back. Let's bring you this now. The Justice Minister has reopened the inquiry into the deaths of the Craddock Four. Matthew Goniwe Sparrow, Kondo Fotalata and Strelum Claudi were murdered back in 1985. Now they were stopped and arrested in a roadblock up by the notorious security branch. In 1999, the TRC then denied amnesty for six security officers involved in the murders. For decades now, families have called for investigations to be reopened, saying they are still waiting for the truth. To discuss this, we're joined by the late Fort Kalata's son, Lukanyo Kalata, joins me uh, this morning. And thank you so much uh, for your time, Lukanyo. A very warm good morning to you. Uh, this must definitely be very much welcomed, a relief for the family, because truth is still sought with regards to what happened to the credit for. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much for having us. Yes, of course, uh, you know, in the statement that we had issued as the families last week, Friday, we expressed just how deeply, uh, um, you know, happy we were uh, that the minister has now uh, acceded to the request by the NPA to reopen uh, the inquest into the murders of the credit four. We're hoping that uh, this third uh, inquest will be the final one and that of course we it will give us all of the answers that we've been waiting for for the last 39 years since the murders of my father and his comrades when i look back at uh, justice minister ronald lamola's statement that which was released uh, quite recently i just want to quote what he said here lucanio um it's it reads in the interest of justice uh, this is important to finally bring closure to the families of the deceased who have been waiting decades for the truth about who killed their loved ones we understand two inquests were held you mentioned rightfully so in 1987 and 1993 but the statement says these two inquests brought more questions than answers where were the gaps for you as a family and as far as the truth is concerned 